Hi everyone, this is Joy and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so very much for watching. Today's project is for Spellbinders and I'm using the small die of the month for February and I've made three cards using this die. Now here is the die and this is kind of built for like a mini slim card. It's a great size for that. A mini slim is three and a half by six inches. So you've got your main piece there which die cuts that out and all that intricate pieces. It's so, so pretty. And then you have your insert pieces. There's three sentiments and three, I'm going to say like floral or decorative backgrounds. So you have a thank you, hello, and then your three decorative backgrounds. So I'm going to be die cutting three of these background pieces and then I need nine pieces total for the insert. When you die cut the large die, you get these little center pieces right there that cut out of that. And we're going to be doing some ink blending on those and also on the pieces that attach to it. I'm using some inks from Pink Fresh Studio. I'm using their Indian Summer, Heartbeat, and Garden Stroll. I'm going to call them collections. <laughs> um, and so I'm going to start here. This is the Indian Summer. And for those background pieces that die cut from the large die, I'm starting with the lightest color, which is called Peach Fuzz, which I think that's such a super cute name. And I'm gonna ink up three of these backgrounds with the lightest color. The other three decorative dies that I'm gonna be inking up are with the other three colors, which is Apricot, Clementine, and Persimmon. I'm starting with the lightest color going to the darkest and that's how it's going to be on the card from the bottom to the top, the lightest color again. So that's apricot. I just inked up with that. The next color is clementine. And as you can see here, I'm just doing a light inking on here, but when you put it on top of that really light peach fuzz background, each one of these colors pop. This is persimmon and isn't that such a pretty, pretty color. I'm going to do the same thing for the next three colors. This is the Garden Stroll. I'm going to call it collection again. This lightest color is mint. The next lightest color is meadow, and that's what I'm coloring this one with. Then there is Emerald City. And that just sounds fun. Makes me want to watch The Wizard of Oz. And then I'm going to come in with the very last color, which is evergreen. And you can just see the difference in how dark to light. The final one is Heartbeat. I am inking up with Coral Reef. Then the next lightest color is Passion Fruit. Sounds kind of yummy. Then there is Berrylicious for this medium color. And then the very last color is Candy Apple. And it's so, so pretty. Now, once I'm done inking this up, I did ink up some just regular white cardstock with three of the lightest colors. So peach fuzz, coral reef, and mint. And I just got some flowers and some greenery from, I believe it was last month's large die of the month. And I'm just gonna die cut out some flowers. So any flowers would work. I, they're not super big. Any greenery would work, but I'm gonna die cut a bunch of this out because I wanna be able to add this to the front of these cards. So I'm just gonna run those through my die cut machine till I get a lot of flowers uh, and a lot of leaves. And then we're gonna just put this together. I'm just using my tool and one to help me poke those out. So now I have my mini slim card base or card panel, and I have it a little bit smaller than the six by three and a half. I'm just using some liquid glue and I'm just gonna adhere this down right in the center of that white card panel. I'm keeping everything else white because I want these center pieces of this small die to really stand out because, they're, because they are the thing that is colored. So I'm going to adhere these little pieces to that inside piece that was die cut out. And as you can tell, there's a little, kind of gives it a natural little mat around the edge, which I think is really, really pretty. So I'm gonna do this for all three cards. I'm gonna glue those pieces together. Some of these are gonna have foam tape behind them. Some of them aren't, just depending, you know, the sentiments may have some uh, foam tape behind it for dimension and maybe just the really pretty images won't. So I'm just kind of changing up each one of these cards. So this is where I was like, wait a minute, I just want the sentiment. So for this, Indian summer collection color, I'm adding some foam tape behind the hello. For this garden stroll one, I'm adding foam tape behind all three of these images because I'm going to add a different sentiment to this. 
And then for the heartbeat card, I'm just going to add foam tape behind the thank and you sentiment. So that center one will be glued flat, if that makes sense. So here is a cute birthday blessing sentiment. This is from Tailored Expressions. They're uh, Simple Strips birthday sentiments. And then I'm just gonna glue these flowers together. Again, this is the same colors, the peach fuzz, coral reef, and mint. I just wanna add a little bit of something extra to make this small die kind of pop off the card. So I'm just adding some flowers and greenery around that sentiment. For this next one, I'm gonna add some flowers to the thank and the you. I'm leaving that centerpiece kind of alone. I'm coming in with the orange and pink flowers. Just using my tweezers helps me to get it into place, using a little bit of liquid glue, adding the little dots to the center. Another thing that would be cute for cent the center would be, you know, like a sequence or a nouveau crystal drop or liquid pearls. Anything like that was also add like a little bit of glitz and glam to this die cut. But I just kept it pretty simple uh, and I really do like how this turned out. So for this finishing up with these few little flowers, and then this last card, I'm going to add flowers to all three of the decorative parts of the die, but I'm keeping it pretty simple with just a pink, a large pink flower and some greenery. Just again, using some liquid glue in my tweezers. And then look at how pretty that is with all the detail. I love this about Spellbinders dies. There's so much detail and you really don't have to do a ton of work. And these cards just turn out beautiful because the dies are so intricate and pretty. I just want to thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe to my channel, thumbs up, comment, share. I do have some affiliate links below. They cost you nothing, but it helps me. So thank you and I'll see you soon. Bye.